Hello and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I just want to highlight some of the detailing tools and also some graphic tools that you can use in Revit as you are detailing your work. Okay. I've just realized that sometimes people think that you can't really produce professional, you know, drawings or construction documents in Revit. They think that maybe Revit, you know, lacks, you know, in some way in terms of the detailing tools. But I want to mention to you that Revit has all the tools to enable you produce, you know, professional construction documents, you know, according to your standards. Now, what we are going to use here, just I want to be referring to some of the tools that I use in detailing this small house. Now, it doesn't matter how complex your project is you are able to you know to produce those construction documents and I'll highlight on some of the tools that you can use now this is a little house as I've said that I'm work that I worked on this is the 3d model and I detailed and place all these views on the sheet as you can see from here now for anyone who'd like to learn Revit architecture in a course you know robo structure analysis you know revit structure please make sure that you check the links in the description on one of the links there there's a course on revit architecture where i've explained all the tools all the modern techniques on a project from start to finish so make sure that you check the links in the description you will be able to produce details like this and much much more using the same tools that i've explained in the course so without wasting time let's proceed in this lesson So as you can see from here and as I've mentioned, I'll just highlight on some of the detailing tools and some graphics tools that you can use. So I just want to go and show you that on the roof plan, as you can see, we have some arrows there. Now these arrows are not 2D arrows. If I just activate this view by double clicking there, you can see that I'm on the sheet. But once I just double click on the viewport there, I'm able to activate this view and I can start doing whatever I want here. Now you see that we have the arrow here. Now this arrow, as I've said, is not just, you know, lines and, you know, putting the text there. What this one is, is called a spot slope. So you see that if you model anything at an angle or not even at an angle at zero, it's able to pick that slope. So this is a two. If I click on spot slope there, and just move my cursor there, you see that it's able to pick the slope. The goodness with this tool is that once you change the slope, like the model element changes, it's going to update automatically and shouldn't have a problem in terms of making revisions. And that's why Revit is so important for any designer. Make sure that you learn Revit and start using some of these, you know, awesome tools. Now I'll go to the next, you know, two or rather a, a digital element or detail item that you can use you see that if i zoom in here sometimes you don't want to model everything in revit sometimes you just be you know using detail lines to to you know to show graphically what you are trying to you know to communicate to the builders you see from here i have the wall for my you know the boundary for my wall i just use the line so now these lines you can use them in so many ways for example if i just double click here i go to this one you see that i never wanted to you know to start have I, okay i've activated this section i never wanted to, you know to draw the actual truss you can do that if you want the number of lessons on this channel on how to model these trusses is equally you know simple but again if you don't want to do that just want to use lines you see i just use these lines and Lines can just be found under there. If I just go to annotate there, I just pick detail line. You see that under line style, I can, you know, pick the lines that I've previously created. Now, you can see that once you just open Revit by default, you're not going to see all these lines, maybe up to somewhere here, up to wide lines going up. These will come by default, but you can now create any line. If you want to know how to create, you know, these detail lines, you know, in detail, make sure that you comment there. I should be able to do a video on how to create different lines in Revit. But for me, I can pick anything if I just want to pick, for example, that line. I can go and use it, you know, in whichever way I want. As you can see, this one is quite a thicker line. So this is how you are able to use, you know, the lines to, you know, to, to, to display whatever I want to, to do within your details. All right, let's go to the next one. Another tool that you can use, for example, if I just go to the door and windows, you see that they are already tagged. Let me just go here, double click outside. 
if i just zoom in on the doors we have the tags now tags again are very very important tags are the ones which separates you know you know autocad and revit because tags are going to pick the information from the model elements it means that when you come to you know to to revisions tags would, would you know update automatically once you just update the model so if i want, just want to place you know that dot dot tag as you can see from here including the window tags as you can see it's easy let me just double click activate this view this is a door and this is a model element as you can see from here all right so let me just uh, select on this door i show i'll just show you where the tag is coming from if i just click on edit type these are type parameters if you go to edit type whatever you find inside here are called type parameters and i'm just using a type mark okay so that is the information which is being you know which is displaying in the tag okay from the type properties now let me just you know delete this one you see that if i just go to annotate and i go to tag tag by category and i just move my cursor there you see that door 2 is there i can remove the leader there and i can have my door right there okay so i can click there and my door tag is there that's how i even place all the tags on the windows again make sure that the information should be there i was just using a type mark by going to the instance parameters just click on edit just go down here you see that i'm just using a type mark as a parameter then just load it in the tag and you're able to do that so that's another trick make sure that you use tags other option could be just using text you know you can go to text and you know start typing there but why don't you usually do that where i'm able to use the tag i do that because that's the power of revit i have to you know to to use that so that i don't suffer in terms of any revisions okay let's proceed the next one are detail uh the detail items okay detail items also includes you know repeating details so let me just double click here and go to my section and just zoom in here of course there are a number of you know detailing tools but i'm just highlighting a few of them you are going to learn from this if i come here you see that this is the ceiling just double click to activate this view you see that we have that detail for the you know for the timber okay that is for the ceiling uh, they it could be maybe space that the timber maybe at 600 by 600 so if i want to show that instead of using again if i just go to to annotate uh, detail line i can even go to lines there maybe just pick maybe uh maybe thin line okay maybe thin line i can just start drawing let me just pick a rectangle i can just start drawing there to display you know what i want to do i've just you know deliberate made it bigger but you know this is an amateur way of you know working on some of these you know where you are able to use repeating details and detail items you know detail items are like in between you know just using 2d lines okay or autocad you know for lack of a better term to using you know 3d models okay you can use detail items they are also parametric you can just create them so instead of using that i can use detail items and you are able to create them within your families but i just want to show you that for example for this one timber i can just go to annotate go to component then we have detail component and repeating details all these are detail items but this one goes even a further by making it you know repeating as you are going to see if i just click there and you see that that is the one i have again i have all these details and don't worry you can load all these detail items within your template and as i've explained in the video revit architecture from start to finish or real projects the template is there you can pick that but if you are just using your template you can load these things and start using them so i just want to explain that if i just go to this one let me just click the first point you see that i'm able to you know to place those repeating details it's so easy to do right click cancel right click cancel i can select on that repeating detail check the properties you know you can go to the detail there click there and you can pick even the size if i just want maybe to change the size to this one apply okay it will change from there now i just want to mention that I did a video just on this channel on detailing of sections. This is where I've explained in detail on how to use these repeating details. So make sure that you check out that video on my channel. You'll find it. Otherwise, just know that we have detail items. We have repeating details. Again, if I go back there, I go to component. If I pick detail, 
and go there and maybe just pick that timber details you just you just place them one by one okay as the name suggests repeating details you they, they will be repeating and you don't have to be arraying them and spacing them so depending on what you want to use and what you have you can pick repeating details or simply detail items and you know just space them now this is not just for timber you have a number of detail items and repeating details which you can load and utilize as you can see i have a number of them here brick drain you know block work and all these things i can't you know explain everything in this video but just know that those tools are available for you to use in revit okay so let me just you know uh, remove some of these things and we go to the next two the next two or some of the tools that you can use again when it comes to detailing i'll go to field regions again if i go down here you can see this is not in 3d okay but the earth that you are seeing here is coming from the model but as i said you're not going to model everything other things you just like here these are just lines as you can see but now for field regions again similar to you, you know it, it it's also equally fast and it's important to understand it will display that graphic as you can see for example if i click there i click once again there these all these are field regions which you can use to create a field region just go to annotate go to component or to region sorry then you see that you have the field region i can click there once you click you'll be in the sketch mode now again you can go to what you have loaded there of course i've loaded a number of things here if you want to have a field region for example wood you want to show it on some section that this is wood you can just click there and just sketch the boundaries if it's rectangular for example just want to you know to display that we have wood there you can click there let me click on finish and you see that you have that graphic so use the field regions make sure that you load those you know items if i go back here again let me just pick something different i just want to give you an idea you can use all that if it's concrete again again concrete for concrete you can just you know put in under the section you put that graphic for concrete but again for some reason you don't have the actual 3d model element just want to show that concrete is there you see i have a number of things you maybe it's just concrete you can pick on it maybe you want to show it a circular somewhere that you have concrete let me just do this click there and finish you see that you have concrete so these are some of the tools and as i've said there are a number of tools and there are so many in revit that you can use for detailing your work and as i said if you want to learn more of these tools when it comes to detail maybe if you want to detail something like this and much much more make sure that you check the link in the description there's a course in revit architecture where i've started the modeling from start to finish including the detailing and the placement on your sheets you know to produce a construction document so thank you very much for watching this video subscribe to my channel don't just watch my videos and see you in some more upcoming tutorials